Hey guys, it's Michael. Welcome back to Michael in the Morning. Today is Saturday, November 14th, 2020, and this is your second stimulus check and second stimulus package update. We have a lot of important news to go over, and we actually have surprising news from Bernie Sanders, who said that the government needs to provide a $2,000 per month stimulus check to the working class and $600 per week in enhanced unemployment benefits. So we're going to break all of this down. We also have some updates from Nancy Pelosi, Mitch McConnell, and Joe Biden. So let's just get right in to the updates. At a press conference yesterday on Friday, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi accused Republicans of playing down the threat of the virus, even though cases are increasing every single day, and that they're denying the results of the election. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi called again for negotiations on the second stimulus package with Republicans, saying that the spike in virus cases is a red alert to lawmakers right now. But the problem is, is that she didn't offer any new proposals. She says it's a red alert, things need to get done, but she didn't give any solutions or provide any new alternatives to the other stimulus packages they've already spoken about. Yesterday on Friday, Pelosi came out and said that their focus in the lame duck session continues to be on virus relief and more stimulus Aid. She said this is a red alert. Everything with virus cases are increasing. We're seeing record numbers every single day. They need to get more stimulus out before the new president is inaugurated. And she said that she urges Republicans to acknowledge the crisis, acknowledge that things are getting worse right now, and that even though Pfizer has spoken about a vaccine, they need to get more done, get more money out to people now because the vaccine whether it works or doesn't work, it's going to take a long time for this to be administered and actually have effects on the economy. Big news here though is that even though both Democrats and Republicans remain divided on a number of issues with the second stimulus package, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said yesterday on Friday that things in Congress will be different when President-elect Joe Biden takes the oath of office on January 20th. At a news conference yesterday at the Capitol, Nancy Pelosi explained that, may I remind you, that we have a President of the United States and that that is so very important. She explained how whether you're in the minority or you're in the majority, if the president is in your party, you have more power as a lawmaker in Congress. So she said with Joe Biden being a Democrat, she and the House of Representatives will have more power because he is a Democrat and she is a Democrat as well. Next up is Senator Bernie Sanders took to Twitter Thursday night calling for a real stimulus package to pass that extends beyond what he has previously proposed and what other lawmakers have previously proposed. He said that the pandemic is surging and tens of millions of Americans are facing economic devastation. People aren't getting their jobs back as quickly as Republicans and other lawmakers had hoped. So ultimately, Sanders explained that the Senate needs to pass a real stimulus package now that provides $2,000 per month to the working class $600 per week in boosted unemployment benefits and Medicare to all. That is what he said. He said we need to have a more comprehensive bill that provides a retroactive stimulus check. Bottom line is though, right now, Democratic lawmakers have demanded a larger stimulus package and Republicans have insisted that there is a focused, more targeted bill as well. Republicans want to focus on liability protections and keep the bill around $500 billion and Democrats want to spend significantly more. Senator Patrick Lee, Vice Chairman of the Senate Appropriations Committee, said yesterday on Friday that this country is headed for a deadly winter and it is long past time for us to provide resources to the American people and to the country to get the virus under control and get the economy fully back open. He explained how legislators are facing a looming December 11th deadline to avoid a government shutdown and how Republicans in the Senate have already proposed a $1.4 trillion bill to fund the government. They did this earlier this week. He explained how these bills do not provide, though, relief to the American people. And in a statement yesterday on Friday, he explained that any final spending bill, any final spending agreement would need to include stimulus measures. In it. He says that that is very important because this December 11th deadline is for government spending. It would be a perfect time for them to also include some direct stimulus measures like boosted unemployment benefits and a $1,200 or some sort of stimulus check. And finally, 
the House of Representatives returns to session next week with no public schedule for any renewal or to pass a second stimulus bill at this point in time. But Nancy Pelosi and Senate Democratic leader Chuck Schumer on Thursday, they reiterated that they want a $2.4 trillion stimulus package. And McConnell, he's come out and said that he wants a $500 billion package, which is well below what the Trump administration had previously said they would pass, which was $1.9 trillion. Currently, we don't know what President Trump would do if a stimulus package is proposed and passed by the House of Representatives and the Senate, but previously he said that they would do a $1.9 trillion bill. Many lawmakers see little likelihood of a deal being passed before President-elect Joe Biden takes office in January and with control of the Senate next year still up for debate. We're going to have a runoff in January for Georgia for two seats in the Senate. We're going to have to wait and see who wins that because that could have a dramatic effect on what kind of second stimulus bill will be passed. But according to a chief economist at JP Morgan and top strategist at Morgan Stanley, something in the neighborhood of a $1 trillion stimulus bill will be passed in the first quarter next year. They think that is a reasonable expectation. They don't think we'll have anything before the first quarter of next year, but when we do have it passed, I think it'll be around that $1 trillion range. So anyways, that's what's going on with the second stimulus check and second stimulus package, what Bernie Sanders had to say about retroactive stimulus and what Nancy Pelosi said as well. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to get your two free stocks valued up to $1,600 when you download the Webull investing app using the link down below. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.